guys another day another week another month another boohoo haul I'm trying out a different setting so i hope that this looks okay fingers crossed but welcome back to my channel guys thank you so much for clicking on this video i am super excited about this haul i'm delving a little bit further into you know the autumn winter pieces i've got some really exciting things here to show you if you've never seen my face before you've never clicked on a video of mine my name is fern i post a lot of fashion beauty lifestyle videos and every month i bring you guys a brand new boohoo haul with all of the pieces that i'm loving on the website Everything in these videos is always linked down in the description. So if you are interested in purchasing anything, go down there and take a look. I will talk through my thoughts and the sizes I've picked things up in. And I will pop a try on clip on one of these sides. If you do enjoy this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. It would mean the absolute world to me. If you are watching and you are not subscribed, now. Go do it now. Without further ado, let's just jump straight on into the haul. So I have not one not two but three big fat juicy bags of clothes to get through today i'll do any mini miny mo catch a i don't know what it is something bites to if it squeals let it go any mini miny mo big bag first it is what even is the word catch a catch a match catch a something by its toe I want to say matchstick by its toe. It's obviously not a bloody matchstick. Catch a something by its toe. Anyway, I have something sparkly. I have something grey. <laughs> if you have watched my previous few Boohoo hauls, I picked up some of the rubber, like chunky rubber knee high boots in khaki and cream, and I absolutely love them. I think that style of boot or those exact ones they didn't have in black or they were out of stock but i'm sure they had a similar boot if not the exact same i think these might be different so i got these black boots they've got a zip going all the way up the issue that i'm having with boots at the moment is they don't fit my calf i mean these ones might be okay i'm just gonna see if it fits my foot quickly i can't continue the haul without seeing if this fits i'm sorry so bear with me Yay, these actually fit a little bit nicer than the other ones. They're definitely slightly different um, in the boots. Sorry, I'm just gonna stand up a sec. Oh my God. They're actually really comfortable as well. I'm really, really roomy. That has absolutely made my day. So I will link those down below. I highly recommend you guys go and get those ones. I really hope they're in stock for you because they're my favorite ones out of the three. Next up, we have a half, a half zip. Is that what they're called? The three quarter zip. It's a sweatshirt and leggings set. I really wanted it for the three quarter zip. I feel like they're really in at the moment. So I got this in a medium. This looks like a really nice size. I'm glad I got the medium and not um, like a smaller or a large. So you've just got the, I think it says official. Yeah, the official studio zip up there. It's got a bit of ribbed on the side and it's like slightly oversized all the way down. Really excited about that. I obviously love the beige nude colour. They're obviously not going to be like the most amazing because it is in a set but they are just some plain nude leggings that go all the way down. They do look a little bit big. Maybe I might have been better off getting them in a small. They are going to be a little bit sheer just because of the material but if you are wearing it obviously with the jumper which might cover my bum. You'll see on the trial clip if it does or not. It might be fine as long as you wear some nude seamless underwear under this it won't be as noticeable got another set here which is a tracksuit i've been after a gray marl hoodie for ages i just really wanted one with a hood that i could wear like blazers and big coats over i didn't have a gray one so i thought i'd pick up a new tracksuit not that i have enough already this is in a medium as a set as well okay that looks nice i was a little bit worried that it would be um, either too big or too small sometimes you can't really tell but it's part of the that puff right in thing which i think is really really cute so all season athleisure whether you can kind of see it's textured there and of course it's got the really nice soft fleecy inside that boohoo tracksuits are perfect for it's got the same little detail there on the sides and of course they've got pockets which is great and then a cuffed hem this is definitely my next go-to tracksuit i'm going to be wearing for the winter this i was a little bit unsure on getting because i don't know how i feel about like glittery 
sequin stuff because it can be quite itchy and glitter can kind of go everywhere so i picked this up thinking it could be maybe like a christmas outfit um i'm probably going for like two christmas meals maybe um i always do an annual one with all my friends so maybe this is something that i could wear then i know it's a little bit early but see the glitter is kind of coming off my hands a little bit so this is in a size 10 it's a pink glitter blazer dress i'm gonna have to keep this maybe in like a packaging um otherwise it's gonna get glitter all over everything else in my wardrobe it looks like it'll fit nicely i think it's slightly oversized i would probably just add either shorts underneath or stitch a little bit at the bottom just so like the blazer dress doesn't flap open there is something that i'm really excited about that is in this bag what have we got here? High-waisted split maxi skirt. I remember picking this up. I've seen quite a lot of people on Pinterest and Instagram styling maxi skirts with like chunky combat type boots um, and like big jumpers and scarves. Um, I don't have a maxi skirt. I thought it would be quite cool to maybe style this up for an autumn outfit. I got it in a 12 just in case it was like quite tight. Um, and I think that was probably a good decision. I mean, you can kind of see slightly through it there but obviously if i put some tights on underneath i've got black underwear and obviously a big oversized jumper and stuff it doesn't really matter that it's quite sheer it's got a long split here so hopefully i can show you that in the oh okay i didn't realize it's got a double split so it's got splits on both sides i didn't know that maybe i did i forgot hopefully that'll still look cute like i said with some just sheer black tights and chunky black um ankle like combat hiker boots and a big jumper or a big coat i just think it's something different rather than wearing trousers or leggings it's a bit dressier i guess a bit more feminine thought i would pick up another knit jumper i do have quite a lot but all the ones i have are slightly different there's always something about them that i like so this one is in a lovely like beigey stone color most of mine are this has got a nice roll neck on it oh this is from miss pap so if you watch my other videos you'll obviously know but if you haven't miss pap is owned by the boohoo group and they now sell miss pap products on the boohoo website so that's why i'm kind of able to order it all together it's just a slightly oversized boxy cropped roll neck jumper the tag i got this in a size small to medium it's a recycled oversized turtleneck jumper in stone really really happy with that one again they are all linked in the description if you guys are interested so even throughout this video feel free to go and have a little look oh okay this looks cute so this again is from the miss pap side of the website this is an oversized collar detail jumper so black in the size small to medium i really like the look of this i don't have anything like this so it is a knit material again really nice soft knit but it's an oversized jumper dress. So again, this would look really nice with those black boots actually. Or if you wanted to dress it up a little bit and wear tights and like heeled boots, I think that would be quite cool. They've got a turned up sleeve detail on it. And hopefully you can see like the big collar there. So it's like a really slouchy. This is probably one of my favourite items actually. That's going to be such a staple piece. I'm planning on a few like cute days out. So like usually um, in Cardiff, which isn't too far from me, they do the Winter Wonderland. I went last year with Jack and it was really, really cute. So I want to go again this year if they have it there. And I also really want to go to Bath when the Christmas market is there, which I'm excited about. So I feel like I'm just trying to plan like a really cute outfit for a Christmassy day out in the winter. It would be super cute. So that is a strong contender. So this, I was really unsure on which one to go for. They had a lighter tanned colour, like full length jacket like this on the website that was new in. It was more expensive. I think that one was maybe like 70 70 pounds this one had gone like in the sale and it was maybe like 30 something so it was like half the price if this is not in stock i will try and link the other aviator style jacket that i found but it's a contrast borg collar aviator jacket jacket in chocolate in a size 12 just so it's a little bit bigger but it's got this like fluffy borg material around the collar and it's just a cropped i say cropped it's not quite cropped dark chocolate faux leather jacket it's got the detail there on the sleeves it doesn't have oh yeah it does it does have pockets and they work thank god it doesn't have the belt though around there which i kind of like but yeah i really really 
love this. I don't have a chocolate brown leather jacket like this. So the last clothing item I think I got, it's a co-ord set. That doesn't look too bad, it might be a bit long for me. Oh yeah, they'll be, they're really long. This is a knitted funnel neck jumper and flared trouser co-ord in black in a size medium. So I've got these flared trousers, so both are in a medium. The waistband looks really nice and it's quite a, like a nice soft knit, very similar to the Miss Pap black jumper dress. And then it comes with a matching funnel neck jumper. Sometimes these jumpers are my favorite where it's not a roll neck, it's just a high funnel neck like this. And it's just an oversized flared sleeve jumper. So I feel like that as a set is obviously very cozy, very thick, very warm, but I would definitely pair these separately. Like this jumper with some different colored leggings or like the black one with a crop top or a different jumper and a jacket. Then I actually picked up a couple of different things to show you guys some things that i thought i needed and also just to let you know that there are other things on the boohoo website as well so like i mentioned they do sell miss pap on the boohoo website so you can kind of shop it all in one place but they also stock a lot of different beauty brands which i've known for a while i haven't really tried too many things out of course boohoo have their own beauty brand but they stock so many others like nyx revolution um lullabells they've got hair stuff on there skincare stuff makeup really excited and they've got bits of homeware too but i picked up a pair of lashes from the brand in vogue these were like four pounds i think they look really really lovely really nice lashes from the brand in vogue i picked up these two bits as well from lullabell so they sell um lots of different hair tools and a couple of different brands but they do sell lullabells and these came up as a back combing brush which i think is going to be really good for when i do put clipping extensions in just to kind of back home that but also it's supposed to be quite good i think for like slicking hair back and then they also do the baby hair styler it's like a slick back gel which i'm quite excited about a lot of brands i think do this but again this was just on the website from lullabells so it's literally like a little brush and yeah and just thought I'd pick it up and give it a go because I do suffer with like flyaways and little like broken hairs and stuff. They do reed diffusers and stuff from Revolution Beauty. So it's the patchouli and cedar wood reed diffuser from Revolution. The box is obviously a little bit um, battered with your reed diffuser there. Really excited to smell this. Can't smell it because obviously the, the lid is on it but I know that I'm going to really like that scent. Boohoo beauty obviously do makeup products but they actually have their own perfumes so i really wanted to try this and just see if it was any good i'm sure this was maybe like seven pounds and i know zara do a lot of like nice perfumes but if boohoo were coming through with the scents then and they looked really bougie as well can you see that can you see that how cute is that i'm scared Ooh, that is really nice. That is very oody. I hope that settles quite nicely. I'm gonna put it on my wrist and see how that smells. Because it does settle differently on a person rather than just like smelling it straight in the air. That is everything that I have for you guys today. I hope you did enjoy and found some bits that you like. These boots. I'm so excited. I might put them on later. I've got to go for a kitchen design appointment um, in a bit. But if you have made it to the end, thank you very much. I appreciate you. If you did enjoy, please smash the big thumbs up button to let me know. And of course, subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. It takes two seconds down below. It would mean the absolute world to me. And also, if you've got any other video suggestions or ideas that you'd like to see from me um, in the next couple of weeks or months, pop them in the comments. I'd love to have a chat. And hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye guys. Bye.